This is RavenFire.com. Yours truly, Diamond K, in here. As always, thank you for joining me, of course. Broadcasting from the Radio and Fire studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, rounding out today's block of news stories, entertainment stories, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, it is... I, yeah, I don't really know how to how to really feel about this because I'm not going to pass judgment on, in this next story because I've been there and uh, I have definitely not been perfect in my life as as no one has. But a lot of times people will sit in front of the camera, get on social media, get on the phone with one of their friends and talk about other people's stories. When they have done whatever it is that they're talking about somebody else for doing. So let me let me say that I'm not passing judgment on anybody in that in, in, in that regard. So rap superstar Nas has been accused of sleeping with another man's girl. OK, I guess I guess for superstars, this may happen from time to time. Uh, you know, you, you don't know what the situation is, but when the person who, you know, was the, the, the boyfriend of the cheating girl is a known figure, we may find out about this stuff. It's kind of different, like in a scenario, like with, um, say Chris Brown, for instance, I think that she was with somebody else, uh, the girl he has a kid with, and, you know, we don't know who that guy is, so it's just kind of like, you know, whatever. But a uh, classic hip-hop DJ and producer, DJ Nabs, says that he discovered text messages proving that his girlfriend, Jessica Santos, was hooking up with the It Ain't Hard to Tell rapper Nas and then he sent Nas a letter confronting him about it I thought that that was okay that's the part that kind of throws me off he sent him a letter about this right he's he's, he's checking Nas via letter okay <laughs> so back in May May 19th to be exact after my performance in Atlanta with the Youngbloods my girlfriend did not come home that night. After confronting her and getting the silent treatment, I discovered on my own texts and emails that proved that she had a sexual relationship with the rapper Nas. Dating back to 2014, he wrote in this letter. Now, uh, page six is, uh, you know, I got to credit them for breaking the story. They have the entire letter, uh, but the entire letter is not, you know, you get the gist of it. So um, uh, DJ Nabs says that, um, uh, you know, when he showed Santos the evidence, she defiantly admitted to sleeping with Nas the night that she didn't come home. Like, yeah, I did it. And like she was on that. She was she was on that tip. Uh, claiming that Nabs and her were over at the time. And she defended the explicit text messages that uh, DJ Nabs discovered and said that the sexual text messages were a minuscule part of their friendship. They did much more than just text, she said. So she was letting him know, yeah, so what you found out, you know, so what that you are. Um, Nabs is a very good DJ, by the way. Uh, but I guess Nabs is a better rapper. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Uh, so DJ Nabs says that he fell in love with Santos. Here's where it gets, here's, here's where it gets uh, interesting and um, ironic. Nab says that he fell in love with Santos while he himself was married to another woman. There you go, right? You was just when y'all were starting to feel sorry for him, you get you get the deeper picture. So Nabs fell in love with this girl, 
Nas jump off. <laughs> While he was married to another woman, he claims that Santos had just broken up with another guy. This is guy number three. All right. Santos, Santos is probably one of those girls that say, my walls is tight. Right? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So uh, she broke up with another guy. And um, for the record, this other guy, Santos' previous boyfriend, also accused her of cheating with Nas, right? He put it out there. He told Nabs, yo, she'd be messing with Nas. But Nabs ignored the warning signs and, um, you know, kept on. Santos must be a bad bitch, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, so he said, I thought it was him acting out of insecurity talking about the old boyfriend and what he said and he just accepted that her and Nas were friends and that was it so mind you that she has this sexual relationship with Nas but she was on some oh that's just my friend stuff and this this makes it this makes it hurt that much more for DJ Nabs. So she was sleeping with Nas during our entire relationship, uh, DJ Nabs says. Um, Nabs explains that his goal in making this letter public, this letter that he, he sent to Nas, this open letter, is to free himself. To free himself. DJ Nabs wants to free himself. And to publicly apologize to his wife, for leaving her for Santos. So now after all of this, Santos is trying to get his wife back. I don't know how that's going to work out. For I don't know how, how well that's going to work out. I don't mean to laugh. I just it's, it's ironic. Uh, but the revelation should come as no surprise uh, to Nas. He claims that uh, he knows I was with Jessica. Talking about Nas. He knows that I left my wife. I'm sitting in this situation betrayed by both of them. I don't owe them anything. So for the record, Nas and Nabs are friends. They know each other. Okay, so that just, I mean, the, the world is small, right? Uh, so they, they have that and uh, not sure. Nas is pretty quiet so he's not gonna say he's not gonna say anything about this uh but for the record uh Nas not responding and Santos not responding uh to this and I'm sure they're just probably gonna stay clear of that are they gonna still be fucking probably is Nabs gonna play any Nas records probably not okay for for the new record I mean maybe he might play the the, the one with the slick rick sample the cop shot the kid was you know whatever but uh let me know your thoughts in the comments section Instagram Facebook Twitter at the Dominic K show at radio on fire why did he do this public letter thing he did this public letter thing because he's trying to get his wife back uh so he's trying to put it all out there uh should his wife take him back let me know your thoughts on that I I say um I don't know Depends. She might got. She might have moved on with her life. She might not got on time for DJ Nabs and this drama. DJ Nabs drama. <laughs>